Hi, I'm Sharon and I work at the Yorkshire Building Society. Today we're going to talk about how to keep money safe. Now what we will do is we will look at what money looks like, we will explore where money comes from and we will find out where we can put our money to keep it safe. So what do we need money for? We might need money for food that we eat, we might need money for clothes that we wear, or for things in the home. But what does it look like? There are different types of money and you might have known it for if you received things like pocket money or if you received money from the tooth fairy. So it might look, uh, it might have been in a coin form, so it might have looked a little bit like these. So these are a two a uh, two pounds coin and this is a one pound coin but they come in different amounts other ways that you might have received it is if it was from money in a note form so this is a five pounds note but again you get different amounts this is also a ten pounds note now there are other ways that you can pay for things um, that are not cash things that you might not have been so familiar with so i want to tell you a little bit about them if you were in a shop with a grown-up and you wanted to pay for some items, they might use something like a debit or a credit card. So it might look a little bit like this. They would use this typically at checkout when they're ready to pay for their items. They would put it into a little machine and they would put in a special code that only they know. Um, so that would pay for the items. Another way that you can pay and it's not as popular as what it used to be but it's by paying by a chequebook now if you paid by chequebook what usually happens is that you would write the name of the person that you would like to pay and the amount and they would pay it into their bank or their building society one other way that you can also pay for items and it's quite clever and that is using your mobile telephone. Now if you were in a shop with a grown-up you would use this at the checkout again and there's normally a little machine that they would scan their mobile telephone on and that would pay for the items. Now I've got some questions I'd like you to explore at home with a grown-up. So we know what money looks like, but where do we get money from? Now I'd like you to write a list of the different ways that your family and you might get money. Now have a little think. Does the grown-ups that you live with have a job? Do they get paid for the work that they do? What about you? Do you get pocket money? And what about people that don't work? How do they get money? Have a think and chat through this with a grown-up. Now, money comes in different ways, not just from having a job. And I'll go through some examples with you. The first one is, it's your birthday. And you get a birthday card from grandma. And when you open the card, you're delighted to see that you have a five pounds note. Now, you might get gifts like this for Christmas as well. Oh no, you've lost a tooth. It fell out when you were biting into an apple. Now, you need to put your tooth under your pillow for the tooth fairy. Now, if you're really lucky, in the morning when you wake up, the tooth fairy will have left you a one pound coin. Now, grown-ups do have to spend time at work to earn money for things that they and their family need. Now, no, there's not always enough jobs for everyone and sometimes people are a little bit too unwell to work. In these cases, the government, now that's the people that run the country, they can help by giving these people money to buy things that they need. Now, I've got some questions that I'd like to give you to explore at home with a grown-up. Hello and welcome back. So we hope you've enjoyed exploring how your family get money 
and where it comes from. So we're now going to discuss how you can keep your money safe. So have you ever lost anything or had something taken from you? How did that make you feel? It's important to keep things safe. Now, when we lose valuable things, we can become upset. Think about a toy you've lost. How sad were you? Now, it's upsetting when we lose money. So we're now gonna look at different ways that we can keep money safe. So depending on how much money you have would depend on where you keep it. So for a smaller amount of money, so that might be money like your pocket money, you might want to keep that in a personal wallet. So it might just pop it in and it's ready to use when you're ready. Um, for money that you intend to spend sooner, you might want to keep that in a money box. So just popping it in, and keeping it somewhere safe in your house. So maybe your bedroom, for example. Now, what about a larger amount of money? Now, that might be money that you get for a Christmas gift or even a birthday gift. Better still, it might be a prize that you won. Where would we keep it? Now, ask a grown-up where they would keep a larger amount of money. It might be money that they earn from their job. You should keep your money in a bank or a building society. Now, when you have an account at a bank or building society, they'll give you a special book just similar to this. And when you have that book, that will show you saving your money with them. And as an extra little thank you, they will give you some extra money. And we call that interest. Now, when your money's in a bank or a building society, it's safe and no one can take it. Now, I'm going to give you some questions to explore at home with a grown-up. Right, well done. You should now know how to keep your money safe. Thank you for completing the session. We would like to send you a certificate. If you can ask your parent or your carer to complete their email address to the address that's shown on the screen now. All we need is your name and the topic that you've completed today and we will get a certificate sent straight over. We hope you've enjoyed the session today. Now if you would like to know the difference between wants and needs you can also visit the Yorkshire Building Society website. The address is on the screen now. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.